Welcome to another edition of The Naked Truth. I'm Ramon Roan. John Singletary. And today's uh, video is entitled, Held at Gunpoint for Seatbelt Violation. This young man, Montre Merritt, um, he's suing um, the police department of Wake Forest, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Now let's, here's the situation. That this young man apparently wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Officer Corey Gay, he pulls up and puts a gun to the young man's head. Now, I know you're probably thinking like John and I are thinking, a seatbelt violation. I just thought before, I never had a gun put to my head for a seatbelt seat seat violation. A seatbelt violation. It used to be when they first started the seatbelt law was that you have it have to be a, you have to be another reason or why they stop you. It just can't right. stop you just for, for the seatbelt. Seat right. But this is a problem. I, I'm and I'm big into the um, um, rules of engagement. Okay, mm -hmm. what was the rules of engagement? What do the what rules of engagement do the police follow? Because, because let me tell you something. If our soldiers Follow the rules of engagement of the police officer, they would all be coming back alive. They would. Yeah. Because a police officer can shoot without being shot at. They can shoot and without being shot later. and ask questions later. Our soldiers, they can't do that. They cannot do that. Their rules of engagement is actually pretty bad because that's why they're getting killed, but that's another subject. Um, but there's no way that you can justify a 17 year old boy. Being uh, held at gunpoint and arrested. Excessive, excessive, excessive force. Excessive force. That's what it is. That's what it is. I just find. Go ahead, John. I just said seatbelt violation. Now, the guy pulls into his own yard. Police follows him. Goes into the man's property. Puts the gun to his head for a simple seatbelt violation. Normally, they for a seatbelt violation, either give you a warning, mm -hmm. even if they give you a ticket. It doesn't want him pulling his firearm right. and sticking to your head when there's no show of aggression or threat towards the police officer. Yeah. You know, that makes no sense. Then when his mother comes out, he gets nasty with the mother. Man. I mean, at his home. Well, the young man is a uh, merit who is a standout football player with a 3.5 GPA. I'm <laughs> like, wait a minute. Kids like that don't do nothing wrong. And I mean, you know, well, wait a minute. Yeah, we, well, we sometimes we they, they do things, do but them. they normally will. They yeah. normally be pretty, pretty they straight, have to be, pretty straight kids. In order for him to, I can understand a police officer putting a gun to his head if there was a warrant out for his arrest on a violent crime. Huh. There's no warrant. This kid had had no runnings with the law apparently, and um, his only problem was he didn't have a seatbelt on. Now, you that know. That doesn't warrant a gun being put to your head. It reminds me of Barney Fife. You see, Barney didn't have a bullet. Well, he had <laughs> one bullet, but it was in his shirt pocket. In his shirt pocket. But no, this, right. now this guy, he's got more than one bullet. Listen, it's, it is a unforgettable experience to have to yeah. deal with mm -hmm. a white policeman in a town with... Uh, questionable race relations mm -hmm. to stick it to your head or you have to look down the barrel simply because you had your seatbelt off. Mm -hmm. Now breaking the law is one thing, but that's excessive. That's yeah. excessive. Um, There's an article here that we pulled up. Um, it reads that what have, um, what we have to do is to target those wrong police officers and those wrong police departments that will harbor and maintain practices that take the lives and take the rights of citizens. This is Mayor's attorney, Reginald Green, told the news station. LeVar Jones was shot in South Carolina. If you all remember that, that was, that was another yeah. problem. Yeah. LeVar Jones was shot in South, uh, shot in South Carolina for a seatbelt violation. Mike Jones was killed and Eric Garner was choked to death. We can't allow this to continue to happen, and we will have zero tolerance. End of quote. Now, there is a problem in America, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell you what it is. It's being born black. 
<laughs> born black in America. That's right, sure enough. I think there's a book out about it. Yeah, I think so. Born, born black in America. That's sure, sure enough. If you want a copy, uh, hit us up. Um, so here it is, Mike Jones. Eric, I think Mike Jones was the guy with the uh, in Walmart. He had, he was, you know, I think he was in Walmart. I may be, I may be incorrect, but there was a black um, young man that was in Walmart that had a toy gun that he was going to buy, mm -hmm. and he got killed. They shot him in Walmart. And uh, we know Eric Gardner was the one that was choked to death in New York. Right. So those are the things. Those are the things that go through a young man's mind when they said, "What could you imagine?" What would be going through your mind if you had a gun to your head and you're thinking about Eric Gardner, Mike Jones, um, my, my, it was in Mike Brown, mm -hmm. the guy. You're thinking about that and you say, wow, I don't want to be like that. So all kinds of stuff. So they are suing them, rightfully so, they should sue. Um, and I hope the best for them, but in our legal system, and I that's why. They win. Yeah, in our legal system. And this is what we're dealing with. This is why this is why judicial freedom right was formed is because we know our legal system is unfair, and they will uh, and prayerfully that there's enough media coverage about this. Mm -hmm. Because media is important when you're dealing with civil lawsuits, um, especially against um, um, the city government. Make sure you sign on to the channel. Uh, we want you to subscribe. Um, make sure you uh, also uh, click like for the channel. Go to www.jfrinc.org and uh, join us. We're trying to get a million members in within a year, um, $36 per year, so that we can continually fight for due process or advocate for due process and equal protection of the law within the just, uh, judicial freedom rights. This has been another edition of The, the Naked, Naked Truth. Truth.